Hey guys, uh, Marlon Hamilton here, um, just with another video. And just to show you, as I said, as I promised, I'm going to teach you everything about a binary option strategy that can help you to make money. Now, when I started this account on this journey, it had just over £500, but as you can see, it's a virtual account. Uh, and basically, you know, we've moved it now within less than a week. Um, and we are now up um, 200 odd pounds, okay? There's a guarantee in trading that you will be profitable in every trading session. Now, while I'm doing this video, if there's any trades come my way, then I'll take it. But ultimately today, I'll be showing you how I set up the charts and also how I go about um, the different using, why I use the different indicators. Now, the indicator that, that I'm going to be talking to you about today is the Bollinger Bands, and I'm just going to talk to you about it, okay? Now, let's show you first and foremost, how do I go about setting up my charts, okay? Okay, guys, now... First and foremost, what I do, I get put on a go because I'm trading on the one minute chart. So, what I do, I go on to the 15 minute chart just to put my supply and demand zones on, right? And really, it's just to make sure that I'm aware that just in case the market goes to these points, the likely chance of the market turning around. Okay? So, that's the sole reason why I put these on. Okay? So the market do goes up to that point you know also we can spot here that this market is in an uptrend so it sort of helped me out as well on the 15 minute chart what's the current trend of the market and we can see these moving averages but i haven't done moving averages with you yet what i'm going to be talking to you about today is this volume japan i'm talking about you know where we've got the contraction and where we've got the expansion yeah and then talking to you about standard deviation but as i said guys you don't need to know any of these things. All you really need to know is um, when you see this, then you do that. That's all. You don't need to know the meaning of them. But of course, because I want to give you quality, I'm showing you how it works. Okay? So my next step once I put these lines on, then I go down to my momentum indicator. And I go to the zero mark. Need to get the zero. Okay, that's not quite zero, but trying to get to the zero, but get on is much easier. And then I'm gonna get the fifty mark. Okay, now the fact that this is an option, right? No, I'll buy whenever this breaks above the, you know, because this the stochastic RSI is my signal okay now for me to be do a buy trade then this indicator the momentum has to be above there the the relative vigor index and the relative volatile in index both has to be above that point has to be above 50 on the one minute time frame okay so then when i go then to the one minute time frame okay and then i look to see if there's any signal okay now here you know, these are below, so I wouldn't have taken this trade. Okay. Um, but let's see. I would have taken the trade there because here, you know, when it breaks there, because, you know, they're all above. So now I would have taken the trade. Okay. But anyway, um, there's no trade there. So what I'm going to do now, um, I've showed you how I set up my chart. This is it. I'm just looking now to see if I can see any trades now. If I see any trade at all, then I'll take it. But for now, I'm going to be talking to you about the Bollinger Band. Now, this is the Bollinger Band. As you can see, uh, it also has got a moving average, a simple moving average of 21. And that's this line within here. Yeah, this line here. Bollinger Band there. Okay. 
okay which is this 21 here uh, moving average there okay now what we're going to do now now what i'm going to do now guys is just to show you just to talk to you about the bollinger bands because i'm going to be going through all the different indicators that i'm using now so you know what's the really the bollinger band now the bollinger where the bollinger band is concerned is that the price of the candlestick tends to oscillate between the upper and lower band so that's the upper band that's the lower band okay now a simple moving average um, between bands is just a simple moving average of 21 it's this one here that you see in the middle the price sort of touches it come back to it touches it come back touches it and breaks below it and so on okay most things uh, will move um, two standard deviation away from the mean so so two standard deviation that way two standard deviation that way two standard and so on so up and down right so two standard deviation away from the mean okay so what we've also got is that approximately 90 percent of price action occur between these two bands so you know really you'll find and a lot of people you know traders they look at this point and say okay if the price this candlestick breaks outside of the band then there's a likely chance that the market will reverse but look there are many times when i've seen price breaks outside the band and just keeps on going and going and going so where binary option is concerned the best way to trade in my opinion is to go with the trend if you try and predict tops and bottoms in binary option and especially those people who love thinking about martin gale guys i'm gonna tell you this forget about martin gale i've move accounts to some really good sum and blown it by using martin gale because some of the time even the martin gale strategies i'm putting on right you're looking at you're doubling up 2.5 2.5 and sometimes you get to seven martingale and you're looking at how much by then you're risking over five six seven five six seven thousand pounds just to make 300 pounds and that's how damaging martingale can be because sometimes when a market decides that it's going to move it just moves and every time you double up the market continues and it carries on and it just non-stop i've had in the past on a real account over 17 martin gale fortunately i only started with one pound but just imagine doubling up doubling up doubling up and i wasn't expecting it to go that far now fortunately for me it finally won but just imagine just do 2.5 times 2.5 17 times right that's what we're talking about we're talking about martin gale it's just doubling up to try and recover your loss plus to make profit but anyway that's something that i would never recommend and who feels it knows it so you know if you're going to come with me on this journey then you've got to basically listen to me now i have actually you know start teaching courses and so on it has helped me big time to understand that look marlon just don't say stuff that you're not going to take action and since i've started taking action I've been a different trader totally you know so if I'm telling you one thing you listen to me you follow what I'm asking you to do yeah right next bit so the Bollinger Band right most um, things um, will move to standard deviation away from the mean well standard deviation basically is just a measure of um, many traders believe in, in closer the price move to the upper band the more overbought so therefore the closer it moves to the upper band it's overbought so if something is overbought then what will happen people will then want to sell it off when it moves down to this zone because it's now oversold then people's going to want to buy it back up but look did this go up not really then and the closer the price move to the lower band the more it's oversold okay however i would say the bollinger band is not a standalone indicator you need to complement it with other indicators such as rsi macd okay now for me personally I mainly use it to help me with volatility of the market in terms of band come together and moving away from each other. For example, I can see here that this continuously touched upper band. So I can see that this clearly is moving up now. 
okay and it's you know going up now of course the band even widens and it you know breaks up and then start breaking down to this band before moving back up so you can clearly see that this thing you know is in an uptrend so you know you can see clearly see it's just in you know, an uptrend but whenever you see gets close together like here then what we're looking at there is that the mark is sort of we've got this sort of contraction so the markets are like coming together and then when you see the market breaks out then this is where you're going to have you know the market cooling down less volatility the market is much calmer okay so once you get this break open then you know there's a lot of volatility in the market there okay all right guys i'm looking to see if i can find any trade um on, but right now the best thing for me to do is to just sit on my hands at the moment and you know wait until a feasible trade comes up but while i'm on if you notice here how close the bands are well then look how wide the bands are so we can see that the market sort of slow down ebbs and flow between the bands but then see it breaks here then you know sometimes the volatility is high and look at that break and that drop down like that you know the band is now opening again so then what we're having here is that there's an increase in volatility again okay however i wouldn't be putting on any trade on this one because i want to see the mark this and this this must be below for me to take any trade i don't mind the stochastic rsi is above here but remember this is, is the stochastic rsi that gives me the signal also if you notice here you know in terms of how much volatility is in the market anytime you see the bollinger band um start breaking out really wide like this then you know that the volatility in the market is very high you know and it's likely that you'll see just run and run and run and run in that direction but then provided that it, if it doesn't tie in with your trading strategy then i would recommend don't take the trade sit in your hands wait until the trade comes don't just put a trade on because there's a put a trade on because anybody can put a trade on makes sense so yet again what i'm going to do check again to see if i can find anything if i don't find anything then no trade will be taken and that's the mental discipline that i would like you to develop that's the only way guys you can become successful at trading anything it's about having rules and maintaining those rules and dealing and sticking with the rules okay guys i'm going to take this trade now everything lines up this is below that's below that's below everything line up nicely so i will be taking these trades now guys Bolin Japan now starts showing me that volatility is increasing so I'm going to be taking these trades now okay that's, I'm just going to pause the video and just wait to see what happens okay um, but you can see there I'm just going to pause now so you can see it's taken okay the trades i've just taken um, using the same strategy i've been talking to you about but don't worry guys i'm going to show you exactly how it works um, um you know if you follow through you do exactly you know what i'm asking you to do you know and, and, and coaching you on how to go about these trades then you know you're going to see the same success you know but it's a process remember this is a process okay and you know it's just about the, right now to focus for me and for you should be about the process over outcome okay the process over outcome that's key okay the process over outcome guys the process over outcome you can see what i had at the start okay guys it's about the process over outcome okay process over outcome that's 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 all i'm saying look how you saw where this was and you know you see in this video you can see the time there's you know process over outcome okay the process guys are broken process over outcome guy process over outcome process over outcome guys you can all see that yeah okay guys simple okay now um, you can see that but guys I'm gonna have to leave it there I don't intend um, for these videos to run too long you can see now it's breaking out and i can say well you know i could be going in for more and more 
in more case the market might just run down to this point before turning around but anyway guys i hope you've learned something from this tonight hope you've learned about bollinger band because that that's a key that's a focus you know of the session today is to get you to understand about bollinger bands and and how we can actually use them and also for you not to use bollinger bands talking about the overbought and oversold forget about that concept and using martin gale and so on you know you've far, i've got a far better chance of going with the trend okay god bless peace out